Our next guest is a Grammy-winning musician and frontman of the band Wilco. His book, How to Write One Song, and his latest solo album, Love is the King, are both available now. Please welcome back to the show our friend Jeff Tweedy. How are you, Jeff? I'm good. How are you? Good I'm doing to see very you well. Um, we've talked in the past. As you know, I'm a longtime fan of yours and of Wilco. And I had this great uh, honor. You uh, asked a bunch of, uh, of friends of yours to be in the video for your new song, Gwendolyn. And uh, I was lucky enough to be one of those people. Uh, how did you come up with this idea? Here I am. It's basically the bottom half of my face, uh, top half of yours. And uh, how did you come up with the idea? Um, I saw a post on social media from Steve Martin where he was joking that nobody rec something was weird about going out in public, so he had made a sign to wear over his head that said, this is Steve Martin. Uh, and it made me think that I have a lot of friends that are sort of celebrities and, and, and they don't get to use that part of their face very much anymore. So uh, I thought maybe I could take advantage of that and get everybody to donate their their face to my video. Plus, just uh, masks just uh, work really well as a green screen. So I just thought I'd take advantage of our our moment in that way. Well, I really appreciate uh, being part of that moment. Uh, you recorded this album uh, with your family, and I imagine at this point. Wilco must feel like family when you record songs, but it must also still be so different to do with your actual family. What's that like? It's uh, playing music with your family is just the most amazing gift I can I can ever imagine being given. It's uh, you know music relies upon trust and you know just uh, just faith that we're you're going to be there in a supportive role for each other. And musicians work long, uh, I don't know, they work for a long time usually. A, a band has to be together for years to develop all of those types of uh, trusts. And uh, a family just kind of has it as a, as a starting point, a base you know, level of trust that is, I don't know, it just feels like you just have so much more room to get um, intimate from there. So it's it's the best thing I can think of to do. Uh, hey, congrats on the book. This is basically um, you, you're you're trying to give people advice on how to write one song, and and one of the things that you sort of stress is how important it is to to let inspiration in, to invite it in. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you explain that a little bit? Well, everybody, um, I th I think uh, imagines that that artistic uh, processes require um, like a bolt of lightning, uh, like a, an inspiration. And that um, my argument is that nobody that, um, nobody's just walking down the street and has no intention to write a song is gonna get hit by a bolt of lightning and, and decide to write a song. You basically have to put yourself in the path of, of that kind of, uh, inspiration and 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 i think you do that by just working at it when you're not inspired working at it as a daily um you know just a practice that you have a habit that you have uh to remind yourself to just kind of be open to things and and then it happens all the time it tends to happen almost every every day for me that i get a little bit inspired and sometimes i get a lot inspired but it wouldn't happen at all if i i didn't pick up the pencil or pick up a guitar and that's I, that's what i just think everybody should do uh you mentioned that you know it, it's important to, to you know, build it as a skill and, and make it work and, and sit down and do it. With that said, are there still times and, and when you think of a lyric and you just know right away, oh, that's really, that's really good? <laughs> uh, sometimes, yeah. I was, I was driving on, on, out on the tollway the other day and uh, there was a hearse uh, stuck at a toll plaza. Uh, like the guy driving the hearse didn't have any change and they didn't have an easy pass or anything like that. And I just felt like I was hit over the head with the world's greatest metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I sang it into my phone <laughs> before I even pulled over, you know? Well, the classic case of someone else's loss is your game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what a way to go, man. Hey, uh, 
I, one of the things that's always fascinating to me about uh, the Grammys more than any other uh, award show is, is just the breadth of the kind of artists you have at a Grammys versus, you know, just different kind of actors or, you know, a comic actor and a dramatic actor. Uh, your first Grammys uh, is a perfect example of this, uh, of some of the people you bumped into. Yeah, I, I think uh, my most notable encounter was... Uh, I was with a big group of people, all the the Wilco guys and and wives and girlfriends, and and somehow I ended up outside uh, one of the bathrooms at the Staples Center, holding everyone's uh, program for the Grammys. I just had a stack of of uh, of uh, Grammy programs, <clears throat> and P Diddy walks up to me, and uh, he thought I was an usher handing out programs. <laughs> He hits my, he he tapped the programs in my that I was holding with a cane. <laughs> he said, "Give me, give me one of those." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, they're they're mine." And he was there. Uh, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't become. It didn't escalate. Thank goodness. But uh, but um, I was also mistaken. Every time I've ever gone to the Grammys, I've been mistaken for a seat filler. <laughs> like, get up, go, get up. <laughs> what I like, like to think like, is that, uh, that like we're... P. Diddy both thought you were uh, handing out uh, programs and also recognized you, and then said, "You know that lead singer Wilco is also a usher." <laughs> yeah, that that would have been just as plausible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you uh, so much for being here. Uh, thanks for sticking around and doing some music for us, and congratulations on the book. My pleasure. Great to see you again. Great to see you too. How to Write One Song and Love is the King are both out now.